Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. In today's episode I am going to manually try my hand at a bit of harvesting. So what I will end up doing is harvesting the free fields that I have. Um, I've done a lot of off-camera off work and currently I have fields 12, 14 and 15. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest all three of the fields myself um, so that way I do not use any workers. Uh, but what I will do is once I have done field number 12 I will put a worker on the field to sow my new crop. And for my next crop uh, crop type I am going to go for soybeans so that will be fun um, but for now what I'm going to do is I have disabled the swath um, this is still wheat but I've disabled swath so that I can just get cracking uh, cracking on with the new um, new type what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a header off of each type, of each direction, and then I'm going to work my way inwards. So in one sense I'm working as if I've got crop destruction on, uh, but as, as you may be aware it is off. But I just thought I'd do it this way uh, because it will be slightly easier when it comes to actually getting the truck in um, to fill up the trailer but yeah uh, with my uh, mod of increased working speed uh, this won't take long at all so I just need to get this done and then I will fill up the trailer as well um, I have set you, some eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed but I have set the difficulty back to easy because I just want to get that little bit of money a uh, little bit of income so that I can work on other projects uh, during this series I am 50% full but what I'll do is after I do this one uh, one trailer load I will end up uh, putting it back to hard difficulty because I've noticed that I've dipped below um, yeah I've dipped below zero a few times over the last few in-game days right so what I'm I'll do it this way and I'll just go from side to side work my way inwards Uh, it's getting a bit heavier now, it's taken struggling to get up the hill. But I thought I'd start the day off on a morning. Um, the crop had finished uh, its growing stages at about 2am. But I just thought it would be better off if I do the, uh, do the recordings during during daylight. Right, I'm about to be full up. So let's get the arm out, ready. Uh, it's 22,900 is 100%. So we need to slowly get there. Right, there we go. Okay, now let's go through and find a the truck. There it is. So the truck has 55,000 litres already. And I'm going to fill it up as much as I can. And then I will go and sell it to the highest bidder. 
even if that highest bidder happens to be very, very far away. It will let me understand uh, the whole term of where everything is on this map and yes it is a bit foggy at the moment. Right. So I'm going to get this guy ready. He already has soybeans selected. His fertilizer is only at 54% but that should be enough. I'll just get him into position. As soon as that harvester is ready, I will then set this off because it won't take long for me to finish this field off. It's just a cowboy situation where I'm just holding my finger over the button to hire this worker and just waiting for that trailer to be ready to to move basically. There we go. Okay, now let's turn you back on, close you up. And don't worry, I'll get the trailer off the field. I just want to get the harvest first before um before the sower comes round. Uh, one thing I have noticed about this map is I cannot do cotton on it uh, because there is no cotton sell point um, but what I will do is after I finish this series I won't be getting all the fields from this series for this series sorry uh, I'll just be doing them basically a handful of them get get a profit get enough that I need to do and then move on so next series will mainly be cotton uh, because I do actually really like cotton right I'm gonna cross the streams here and yeah I'll, I'll start this next field and then when the sower gets near the truck I will then move it or I'll move it beforehand because this filling up right hopefully I'll be able to get as much off the fields as possible I am going to do this one the correct way well the way that the farming simulator gods do it. So the way the workers do it up and down. The correct way as I've been told to actually uh, do a field to harvest a field is to remove the outer edge first and then work your way inwards. This way seems a lot quicker um, but obviously if I get 100% and oh, missed a bit. Yeah, if I get 100% and my arm, uh, my unloading arm, is on the left hand side and I have crop destruction on, I will end up losing some yield because of the truck going over the crop. Unless I move the combine harvester every time. So that's why people do, I believe it's called a headland first. Um, so they go once around the edge and then keep the arm on the left hand side and work your way inwards. But this, like I've been saying the whole time, this should not take long at all. And hopefully by the end of it we will have near and I 100% full on the uh, tank, on the trailer. Yeah, so I'm going to have to move that trailer in a second anyway. Because this is going to fill up 
on the wrong side. So you get to see what I mean by crop destruction uh, being on the wrong side. Um, but obviously I don't have the crop destruction on so it won't be a uh, an exact replica so yeah let's Let's go back to the truck. Uh, let's get it over to the field. We're on 71%. Uh, I believe it's 110,000 litres from what I remember. So we have what? Maths. 80 to 110 is 30. So yeah, we're definitely going to fill this up. Just another one and a half load. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Another one and a half load, and then this will fill up, fill up entirely. And then we can go and sell it on. Uh, what I'm aiming to get out of this is a silo. So yeah, I want a silo so that I can just store up a load of crops, uh, have different grains, uh, have multi-crops on different um, fields and then that way I can get more harvesters and have their set fields and basically just keep dumping into the silo Then when we get a great demand for a certain crop type then that will be able to sell on. Right, come on. Yeah, nearly there. Uh, it's ninety eight thousand, ninety nine, a hundred thousand. Right, let's just get this off the field. Um, pressing for time here, what I'm going to have to do is I will finish off the field oh, wrong button yeah, I'll finish off the field, dump the rest of the grain into the trailer and then I will go and find a sell point for it So hopefully we'll get around about 95, 96%. But yeah, that field over there is also another one I need to finish off. Do 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 do. Right. So we've got, yeah, it's just going to be shy of 5,000. To get a real understanding of it, I should really fill it up. Mm. Yeah, so I'll just take the bottom slice off of this headland. That should be enough. I say that. Probably not. Okay, gonna have to take one more sliver. And yeah, so let's bring the arm out uh, let's get the truck over here Ooh, eight and a half should be eight and a half roughly yeah I'll get the truck over fill her up 
find out where the sell point is and once I've sold it that's going to end off the video for today and then next video will be soybeans and hopefully we will have something else as well possibly a silo tank possibly another combine harvester or another field so yeah let's see just need to get this up to 100% whilst I'm doing that let's find out where we can sell it uh, Goldcrest Pacific Grain is the best at the moment 1260 and where is that? Ah, it's nearby, perfect yep, 100% there is a little tiny amount left in there so I'm going to take the road and take the correct path to get there so spin left this truck goes up to 51 miles per hour not 88 would be nice to go back to the future but we're going to put our blinkers on so our strobe lighting in one sense or beacons in the correct sense Right, coming up to the end of this T junction, I'm going to be turning right. I like the sound of the truck. So it's a right hand turn and then an immediate left. The nice thing about this truck is it has an underbelly, uh, so the the way to get it out is to dish to dispense it from under the underside of the trailer right then so not cutting across the grass too much let's get into position and let's see what easy gets for me Okay, so at the moment, yes, the amount is going down, top right hand corner, 32,386.85 and so on and so forth. Let's see what we get out of this. So 110,000 litres at 1.2 rate. Quick math, you can do it, Hundred, probably about 130k. So oh, it looks like more than 130. Total of 138,577 for this harvest income. And we still have three quarters of a field left to go. Right, that's going to be it for me for today. Let's get you out the wall. There we go. Wheels weren't touched. Oh, I know why. Uh, I need to back the trailer up a little bit because it's a bit too close. There we go. Back it up a little bit. Right, that's going to be all for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. And next time we will have uh, soybeans, which in all all in all do have a higher yield um, and you can sell them on for a lot more so yeah stay tuned for next episode which will probably be soybeans take care bye bye